in this lecture we study uses of spherical mirrors both uh, then concave and convex sequentially now if you want to understand uses of spherical mirror and not cram it is important that you go through lectures of image formation properties of convex and concave mirror which are elsewhere i'll directly use the results from there to explain you how and the reason behind any use for example we say the f we are discussing first the concave mirror uses and the first use is that it is used as shaving mirror or makeup mirror or for makeup for ladies now why it is so because if you put your face in front of such mirrors you get an enlarged image now see how actually it is happening recall the lectures that you studied earlier and i'll just briefly touch them as of now recall that when the object in concave mirror is between pole and principal focus then enlarged image and virtual image is, is formed it is erect image 2 so the face is actually between pole and the focus of the concave mirror and when this happens you see you get an enlarged image and you can easily then use it for shaving or doing makeup the second use is again from the property of concave mirror is used as reflector in car headlights you have a car headlight in car headlights such as this you want rays to travel large distance so that while driving you can see objects which are very far off so the bulb is actually placed at the focus light rays move towards the mirror and after reflection you know that they become parallel to each other this also you have studied let us go back so it is this case here when the object is at principal focus rays become parallel after reflection so this is the logic why they are used this way now if let's say a doctor wants to focus on some small area he wants light to come and then focus on this so doctors use concave mirror and you know the property of concave mirror is that if the rays are traveling parallel after reflection they focus they come to the focus so you get very good you know way by which you can look at small objects and the fourth is even dentist use this property here what they do is that they put such kind of mirror at the back of the tooth and then tooth is between focus and the pole and you he can see virtual and large erect image of the two uh, of the tooth so these were some uses of concave mirror based on the basic properties now we will discuss uses of convex mirrors first and very important use is that convex mirrors are used in street lights now why you want when there is a light here you want it to spread in maximum direction and this is the property that is used in convex mirror recall that if object is between pole and infinity then light gets diverged like this and this is exactly what you want in uh, street lighting so bulb is here and light created gets you know spread in all directions and the second very important use is that it is used in cars to see as a rear view mirror to see objects at the back now again how it happens you have to understand him understand it if a objects are at far off or at infinity long distance away from the car rays will come like this and then they'll be 
make an image at the focus so we'll see something as if as if objects are here and this is exactly what you see in this situation rays are coming from very large distance there's a truck here and they are making an image through the ray diagram that I showed you earlier at the focus Thank you.